four main differences between denanumab and lecanemab. First, they both target beta amyloid, one of the hallmark proteins that build up in Alzheimer's disease. Lecanemab targets beta amyloid early in its formation, while donanumab targets beta amyloid after it's clumped and formed a plaque. Second, they have slightly different dosing regimens. Lecanemab is dosed once every, um, once every two weeks, and donanumab is, has monthly dosing. It's possible that when the patient's on lecanemab for approximately 18 months, they may be able to switch to monthly dosing. For donanumab, it's possible that after a patient's been on donanumab uh, over a certain number of months and they've cleared the beta amyloid to a certain threshold, then they may be able to go off the drug. Third, right now the cost of donanumab is more expensive. However, a patient on donanumab might not need to be on treatment as long as for lecanemab. Fourth, the benefit versus the risk may be different between the two drugs. They both appear to have a benefit in the earliest stages of Alzheimer's disease. The risk for important side effects might be slightly higher for donanumab, particularly in higher risk patients who might be more prone to bleeding. It's important to note that the study designs were slightly different between the two drugs, lecanemab and donanumab, that led to their approval. So this might account for the differences between the two drugs.